The USS Duluth was an Austin-class amphibious transport dock, or LPD, and was the sixth in her class. She was named after the city of Duluth, Minnesota, which itself bore the name of Sir Daniel Graceland Duluth, the explorer who raised the French flag at the westernmost point of Lake Superior in 1679. LPDs were named after cities themselves named for explorers and developers of America. She is the second Navy ship to bear the name. The first USS Duluth was a light cruiser commissioned on September 18, 1944 and decommissioned on June 24, 1949. The USS Duluth was built at the New York Naval Shipyard in Brooklyn, New York. Her keel was laid on December 18, 1963, and she was launched on August 14, 1965. She was christened by Mrs. C. Bruce Solomonson, the daughter of Vice President Hubert H. Humphrey. She was commissioned on December 18, 1965, and she was decommissioned on October 28, 2005. LPDs are used to transport and land U.S. Marines, their equipment and supplies, and otherwise support amphibious operations using various waterborne amphibious landing watercraft and numerous types of helicopters and vertical takeoff and landing V-22 Ospreys and AV-8 Harrier jets. The LPD's capability to house, feed, and provide medical care for up to a thousand people make the ship uniquely capable of supporting both amphibious and humanitarian operations. The ship's insignia features a red and blue shield symbolizing the Navy and Marine Corps teams of which the Duluth was a part. The single large star overhead represents the North Star, the symbol of the state of Minnesota. The five-star diagonal band replicates the center of the great seal of the city of Duluth, Minnesota, and the large six is the hull number of the ship. The motto is a Latin expression translated as bold in action. Because of the incredible versatility of the well deck, which allows for watercraft to directly enter the ship when partially submerged and still operate various aircraft from its flight deck, the USS Duluth was capable of performing a wide variety of missions. The entire back of the ship is a large swinging door called the stern gate. The stern gate would swing down to form a ramp and the ship would partially submerge into the water, allowing watercraft to enter and exit with personnel. The USS Duluth has performed a number of humanitarian missions including participating in the evacuation of Saigon, where the Duluth carried over 2,000 refugees to safety, and the cleanup of the Exxon Valdez oil spill. To read more stories or find out more history about the USS Duluth, please visit their website at www.ussduluth.org.